Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Taryn Lene. I'm super excited for today's video because this is going to be my very first vlog on my channel. So I have a few things that I need to do around the house. Look at Fendi's over there being a creep but i have a few things that i need to do around the house i need to go and make up my bed because they finally got out the bed and went to work so i need to go make up my bed i have clothes right there that need to be folded and i also need to go and clean up zan's room i need to give fendi a bath that's a huge task right there and then i need to clean up my makeup brushes so kind of have a lot of things to do hopefully i can get everything done today i also need to go to a few stores i need to go to five below ross tj maxx marshall's and target so yeah hopefully if i can't finish everything today then definitely i will finish it during the weekend and i will definitely take you guys along with me so make sure you guys stay tuned i am trying to be more consistent so stay tuned for more videos you guys i'm super hot i don't know if you can tell but i'm definitely super hot i was just practicing the wop dance so make sure you guys stay tuned for that video it's going to be super super exciting so yeah so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into my vlog there's Diane's room right there i'm really scared to go in there and see what it looks like i'm pretty sure it needs to be clean if i have to clean his bathroom i know for sure his room needs to be cleaned as well so i might do that i might actually rearrange his room i'm not sure yet and i'm also going to cook me a um probably some pasta tonight so i don't know what bay and zion is going to have but i know i'm going to have this vegan pasta and i will tell you guys more about that so yeah let me stop rambling and my tank top looks a hot mess but yeah let me stop rambling and go make up my bed and get my day started well so yeah so we are at starbucks and a look at this line it's moving a little bit but not as fast as i need it to be pumpkin spice ice and latte no whipped cream almond milk the best fall drink ever okay so i didn't get the footage of zion helping me make up my bed or folding my clothes so <laughs> oh my I'm gosh sorry. i don't know he be in his own little zone but yeah i didn't get that footage because my lighting in my room is horrible right now it's horrible in my bathroom too because i have one light that's out and two lights that are dim so i definitely need to hit up walmart and get some light bulbs and my room light is I don't know it hasn't been working with me lately so definitely need to order another ring light i know a lot of technical difficulties but we will get through it so now i'm in the bathroom and i'm about to wash my um what do you call it my makeup brushes and i'm going to show you guys my whole little setup that i do so basically i don't have a lot of makeup brushes that need to be washed it's only whatever is in this um cup right here and then i have a few sponges that i need to clean oh, are a lot of and now i'm looking for my little mat that i scrub the brushes on so here's the mat i got this from five below i definitely want to go back and get a bigger one I mean, this is good for now. I really don't need a bigger one, but I don't know. I want a bigger one. Just stick the mat inside the sink. And then I use this Jabinesque brush cleaner. This is made with goat milk. This stuff is so good. Like you can see, I'm just about done. I need to go find more. I think I got this from Marshalls. I think it was about $8 or so, but you could definitely buy this from Walmart. Um, I've seen it online and also from the Japanese website and also Amazon has it. So pick this up. This is really good. And it smells really nicely. Even when I go to um, do my makeup, the brushes smell really good. So I really, really love this. If I'm not using this, then I'm using this. I use Dawn um, dish soap for everything. I clean my dog with it. I clean up any stains. I even scrub out my car with this, any stains that Zion spills in my car. But yeah, so I clean that up. So Dawn is good for any grease stains. So you guys, if you're looking for a good, um a good soap that pick up grease stains definitely get you some dawn soap and i recommend the blue one i'm not sure how the other ones work but i know the blue ones work really good so yeah
this little boy in these TikTok videos. <laughs> no, you're so off. But anyway, so what I do is wet the inside of the Gemini's brush cleanser. Cleanser, sorry. And then I just take a dirty brush and swish it around in there. And turn off the water so you guys can hear me. But I wish that around in there and you can see how dirty these brushes are. Oh my gosh. But yeah, let it get nice and soapy. And then I just scrub the brush on the mat. Right the brush. Then I start lining up my brushes on this white towel and just let them air dry. This is like the fastest way to do it. Most of the time I do them one by one, but right now I'm kind of in a rush because I still need to cook dinner. So I'm just taking a few at a time and scrubbing them on the brush. And mind you, I still have all these sponges to go. So now I'm just letting everything air dry. These are all the brushes that were dirty and the sponges and yeah don't let your brushes air dry then they get loose and then they start to break off and they're no good also if you let them sit in the sink while you try to wash them that will also happen as well so i just like to scrub them one by one i don't let my brushes soak or anything like that and then when i'm done i just let them air dry so yeah i'll come back and put this up a little bit later now it's time for dinner I lied. It's actually time to wipe off my makeup. So I did like a little light beat today. Today was more like a natural look. I don't have on any lashes or um, highlight, lipstick or anything like that. Like I said, everything was pretty nice and natural today. So I want to go ahead and wipe everything off. So now I'm just going to take my wipe. I'm going to show you guys an updated skincare routine. Like I've always said in the past few of my videos that because of the pandemic and we have to wear the mask and all that, blah, blah, blah. My face has broken out really badly. I never broke on, I never broke out so bad before. So this is all very new to me. So I keep trying different products to see what will work for my skin. But my skin is very sensitive, so not a lot of products work for me. But I will show you guys an updated skincare routine that I've been using and it's actually been working pretty well. Up until today, I've started experiencing more breakout. I don't know, maybe it's because it's this new product that I've been using, but it's Aveeno and I'll show you in, I'll show you what it looks like. I got this from, I think Marshalls and, no, I got this from Ross and it was $4.99. The Aveeno is a good product, so I thought that it would be really good for me. But I don't know if it's causing me to have more breakout on my face because my face was actually clearing up up until yesterday. No, up until like last night, I started seeing more breakout. But I'm going to try it one more time to see what it will do for me. And if I break out any more, then I definitely won't use it. I just got it, so I'll probably give it to probably give it away to somebody that might want it. But usually Aveeno is a good product. It's for really good, it's really good for people who have eczema. The lotion, the oatmeal soap and stuff like that. But I think it's causing me to have these breakouts. I've been using the Fenty Skin products and that has really been working for me. So, Whenever I go and get my facial, whenever I do that vlog, then I will do the updated skincare routine. And hopefully this breakout that I'm having right now will be going away. So, so I forgot to wipe off my mascara. I forgot I even had mascara on. That's how light that beat was. Super excited for this haul. So 
for dinner, I'm going to be making this plant-based chicken. If you hear Finny in the back, he's just mad because he wants to watch everybody eat. But yeah, this is their new plant-based chicken. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it tastes because this will be my first time. But I'm definitely excited to taste this because I love their pasta. So the directions for the stove top is add frozen meal and sauce from the pouch into a large non-stick skillet. Add one fourth cup of water. So let's go ahead and place everything into there. And now I'm going to close it and let that cook for about 15 minutes and then stir occasionally. Now, like I said, I've never had this. This is a garlic chicken, uh, meatless meat. So this isn't, of course, it isn't real meat or anything like that. I've been trying to go vegan for the past uh, couple of weeks. I've done it for three weeks, lost about five pounds, but then on the weekend, Bay and Zion like to eat out and their food is very tempting. So, but now I am back on it because meat really messes up my stomach. It makes me throw up every single time. Well, majority of the time. So yeah, I try not to eat meat or any greasy food or anything like that because yeah, like I said, it makes me very, very sick. And when I did go vegan for about three weeks, I was feeling just fine. So now I wanna switch back over. The other day I had some pizza and some of their chicken wings from Papa John's and I threw up the whole meal. Later on that day I had, um, I forgot what else I had. I had something else. Oh, it was chicken from like a wing spot and I was about to throw that up, but I decided to try to keep everything down. So yeah, you want to look out for my transitioning to vegan or vegetarian. I'm not really sure which one I want to do, which one. I don't know which one is best for me. So I'm just trying out everything. So yeah, you guys stick to that journey. And yeah, now we're going to wait and see how this tastes at the end. And here is the final touches. We're not going to eat the meatless chicken because, I don't know, I'd rather just not have the chicken at all. But here's the final touches on this, and it looks delicious. I'm going to taste it a little bit later. I'm actually not hungry right now. So when I taste it, I will let you guys know. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about my very first vlog. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Zai, what, they, what else are they supposed to do? Subscribe. And turn on what? The notifications. Yeah. Until next time, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next one.